A man in Montgomery County was ordered to stay away from his estranged wife, and less than a month later, police say he broke into her home and stabbed her to death. Her body was found at Widmore early yesterday morning. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live in Springfield Township tonight with more on the disturbing details of the woman's murder. Maggie. Well, Rick, in March, Elizabeth Shea got an order of protection against her estranged husband, Kenneth. On April 7th, he filed her a suit for $50,000 in damages against her. By April 9th, she filed for divorce, and one day later, she was found murdered, and he was arrested. In custody now is 37-year-old Kenneth Shea, charged with murder in the stabbing death of his estranged wife, 57-year-old Elizabeth Shea. The couple seen here together on his social media. At 7 Wednesday morning on the 1000 block of Cromwell Lane in Winmore, police found Elizabeth Shea deceased on the floor of her bedroom with stab wounds to her neck. She leaves behind three adult sons. Her former employee. She loved her son so much, um, and I loved her. Detectives believe, though Elizabeth changed the locks, Kenneth Shea entered the home through the window, pushing a mounted air conditioner into the house and crawling inside. At the time of the murder, Shea had an active arrest warrant for allegedly assaulting and choking his estranged wife back in January. On March 15th, Kenneth Shea was served in order of protection, evicted from the house, and court ordered to stay away from Elizabeth. And just hours before the murder, Elizabeth Shea filed for divorce. After discovering Elizabeth Shea's body, detectives traced Kenneth Shea's Uber account, showing a trip from the Feasterville Comfort Inn to Elizabeth's house at 12.23 a.m. and a return trip three hours later. By 6 p.m., the Ben Salem SWAT team found Kenneth Shea at the Comfort Inn, taking him into custody. Before the breakup, Elizabeth ran Lucky Dogs with Kenneth Shea. A former employee says Kenneth would disrespect both customers and employees. He was definitely controlling. They just had a lot of problems, and it was just really apparent, and it was affecting the business as well. Now, Kenneth Shea is facing those murder charges as well as assault charges stemming from that domestic incident uh, before this. He will face a judge May 7th. We're live in Springfield Township. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. All right, Maggie, thanks for that report. Philadelphia.